Set your image on a flat surface, then tape down all of the corners. This will ensure that you don't have distorted figures or a subject. Then, with your camera, place it in such a way that you don't have a reflection over your subject. Press the screen. As you hold it on the screen, your camera will focus it. Once it's focused, take the picture and then send it to your desktop. Write down these shortcuts. Command Z, that allows you to undo something. Command Alt Z allows you to undo multiple things. Just the letter Z allows you to zoom. H allows you to use the hand tool, which can help you navigate around your image. C is the crop tool. Command I is the invert tool. Command L is the levels tool. W is the quick selection tool. The left bracket key allows you to make your brush size smaller. The right bracket key allows you to make your brush size larger. Um, if you don't know where that's at, it's under the delete key, the second and third key over. Command D is the deselect tool. S is the clone stamp tool. And J is the spot healing tool. We're ready to begin. So let's bring our image into Photoshop. You can click and drag it over. If it's not on your desktop, just go to File, Open, find the location, and then move it in. Z allows you to move in. Holding down Alt and pressing the letter Z allows you to zoom out. C is the crop tool. Select the area that you want to crop. If for some reason this is doing something weird and you can't get the ratio you want, make sure ratio is selected and not one of these numbers. And make sure there's nothing written here and nothing written here. Next, before we crop this, we want to make sure that it's straight. So find something that's straight, either horizontal or vertical, and then use this straighten tool click and drag along that straight thing so I'm using the lights in this case when you let go it will automatically straighten out your image I'll press enter to finalize that next I want to invert my image by pressing command I now that we can see what the image should look like I'm gonna press command L that will allow me to change the levels Changing levels makes the dark things darker and the light things lighter, basically adding more contrast to your photo. So I'm going to start right here, move this over. If I moved over, clear over, you can see that it's making all the dark areas start earlier. Um, I'm just going to move it over a little bit, make the light start a little bit earlier. I like that, so I'm going to click OK. I'm going to explain the stamp tool. The stamp tool, by pressing letter S, it allows me to take something from somewhere and move it somewhere else. So I'm going to press the right bracket key to make my brush size bigger. I'm going to hold down Alt. That allows me to select somewhere. I'm going to click my mouse button while still holding down the Alt button. Then when I let go of that Alt button, I can move my face to another area. You'll notice the face that I moved over is really light. The reason why is because I changed the opacity 46%. If I change that to 100% and I select my face again, when I move it somewhere else, it's going to move 100% of it from whatever's in that area. If I don't like what I just did, I'm going to hold down Command and Alt, then continue to press the letter Z to undo those multiple things. I want to change the size of my brush to small, now I'm going to use my stamp tool, select the area next to the scratch mark, let go of that stamp tool, or the Alt button. Now I'm moving what's on the right to the left. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. Go back to my stamp tool by pressing S, Alt to select the area. All right, so that looks good. I'm going to select this area now. Bring that right there. I'm going to select this right here to add to here. Select here. Anyway, you, you get the idea where you're, you're not necessarily just making a scratch disappear. You're just moving a different part of your photo over that scratch. Um, another thing you can use is the spot healing brush. The letter J. Um, 
what I do, if I click right over this little dot, it's going to take that information and disperse it all around. And it gets rid of it, which is super awesome. And you say, Mr. Schaefer, why would I use the stamp tool when the spot healing brush is so easy to use? This is why. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit closer so you can see the difference. Let's say I'm on my spot healing brush and I click right here to get rid of that white mark. Notice what it does. It's now kind of deformed my face a little bit. You might not totally notice it, but I can. And then also, right around here, you can kind of see a circular shape where the brush was. So to avoid that, I would stick with the stamp tool as much as possible. All right, the next tool I'm going to go over how to use, quick selection tool. So if I press W, it allows me to select an area within reason. Uh, this area I want to make lighter, so I'm trying to select that. It's selected a little bit too much, so if I hold down Alt, I can deselect some of this area. All right, let's say I just want to edit that. I'm going to go back to my levels by pressing Command L. Then I want these lights to start earlier. Or I could make them darker. So I could move this over and then it makes that entire area a bit darker. Or I can use this side, move that a little ways so that it looks lighter. Click OK. I want to deselect that area now. So I press Command D. And now it matches a little bit better. Um, if I zoom in here, you can see that there's still some differences but I can fix that with either my spot healing brush or my stamp. Spot healing brush, at least I think, tends to work pretty good for this. Um, there's some areas though, like right in here, I'll want to use my stamp tool, select an area that's next to it, and then just move it over. Um, for me, that works better. Anyway, I'm going to go through my entire image. I would select this area, lighten that up, maybe blend that a little bit. Um, you'll notice right here where I had it selected, it's a little fuzzy. An easy way to fix that is go back to your spot healing brush. Instead of being content, content aware, click create texture, make it fairly small, and you can texture that edge a little bit over. I'm gonna go over the dark area. Um, now, it's not perfect, but if someone was just looking at this and not looking for those edits, it would probably look fine. All right, and that's how you do these edits.